Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you guys what kind of music I listen to while studying and I love listening to all sorts of music while studying because I get pretty bored of one type of music and then I switch to another so I have lots of different types of stuff that I like to listen to and I'll just try to show them to all of you today. First, I'm going to show you guys my study playlist on YouTube and in this study playlist, I just put in all of the music I like to listen to while studying, including soundtrack music and music from other artists. And I just have it all in this one playlist I call Focus. And so I'll just take you on a little tour. So first I have movie soundtracks. And the first one I have is The Theory of Everything. And I have Narnia, Captain America, Narnia, Avengers, and so on. So the first part of my playlist is just soundtrack music that I like to listen to and they're all music from my favorite soundtracks and my favorite movies so it makes studying a lot more enjoyable when I actually enjoy the music I'm listening to so I love all of these themes of Harry Potter and stuff like that and after the movie soundtrack part I have other music that I like to listen to while studying and these are music from the piano guys just instrumental music so I love those and then, there's music from Two Steps From Hell. So, Two Steps From Hell is my favorite type of music to listen to while studying because it's epic, and it's fast, and it's just amazing, and I never get bored of it. So, I have a ton of their songs in my playlist. Um, my favorite song is Victory. You have to listen to it. It is the best study song ever because you just get so motivated. But I also have a bunch of their other songs down here, a lot of them. I have some more soundtrack music, more piano guys, Lindsay Sterling, her music is great as well. More Two Steps From Hell. More theme songs. Oh, the Sherlock theme songs are all here. I love the Sherlock theme song as well because the theme makes you feel like you're really smart, if you get what I mean, because Sherlock was really smart. So, I like listening to Sherlock soundtrack for like math. And I love the Good Wife soundtrack as well. It's great for, I think, writing tasks because law, blah, blah, blah. Spider-Man soundtrack. Yay. And these are all trailer music for different movies. And these are all like super epic music. So I guess you can see a trend here is that I just love listening to epic music while I'm studying. All of this stuff is epic stuff. And so yeah, this is my study music playlist on YouTube. And... I like to click on this playlist and just play this whenever I study, but sometimes I do want to listen to some other music instead of these soundtracks, or I want something softer and not as epic, and in that case, I will go to Spotify, and actually in their genres and moods, there's one called Focus, and this is also one of my favorite ways to listen to music while studying because they have like ready-made playlists for you, and they're perfect, so... Um, my personal favorite is Peaceful Guitar. I don't know why I don't like piano, but I just don't really like the sound of the piano so much. I like the guitar more, so I love this playlist. And they have just tons of different varieties, which I love. Let me see. I also love acoustic stuff, just, you know, guitar stuff. And occasionally, I like listening to nature sounds. So this is just a playlist of the sounds of nature and they're like completely ambient sounds and it's not very distracting at all so I love listening to these for studying as well but yeah I love just choosing a random playlist on Spotify because they have ready-made music for me and that just decreases the hassle I have to go through and so these are the two ways I use to find music on my computer Oh wait, I forgot that there's actually two more ways I listen to music on my computer. And the first is this website called Brain.fm. And they have study music. So it's just sort of, I don't know how to describe it. It's just sort of ambient sounds and like little waves of music. So it's very not distracting at all. And you can really focus while listening to this. And you can have it play, playing for infinity as you can see over here. So... It's great for a huge long study session and it keeps me focused. And the second website I like to use is Coffativity. And they basically play like sounds of people working in a cafe or in a library. And it just creates that environment for you. So if you're studying at home but you want to 
pretend that you're studying in a library or something. You can just use this and it'll make you feel like you're in a completely different environment, which is something I also love because I don't really like to go to the library a lot, but I love having that sort of background noise, so I love conductivity for that. As for music from my phone, I also have lots of different music here because when I want to study in a library or something, I want to be able to have music on my phone that I can listen to on the go. And so, obviously, I have Spotify here for music, but I also have a lot of like ambient music on my phone. So, one of my favorite apps for this is Atmosphere, and in this app, you can create your own types of sounds in a different environment. So, you can choose your environment from here, like beach, forest, urban, underwater, home, park. And for example, if I choose forest, then I can look at all these types of sounds and then create my own. And so I can totally customize it by like increasing the volume of different sounds or adding different sounds to it. So I love how customizable this is and it's quite fun. And the other app I have over here is, oh, I have the app of Cuffativity, which is exactly the same, except it's an app. And I also have nature sounds. So this is basically the same as atmosphere except the sounds are already made. So like they already made the sounds for you. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to click anything. You just pick the sound you want and then it starts playing. So these three apps are apps that I love to use for studying while on my phone. And the last app I want to talk about is something that I've mentioned before in the video. I think I called best apps for studying. And this is not a music app, it's a timer app. For example, you just start and the timer starts. But as you can see, there are actually sounds in the background and I love this about the app because when your study session is rolling, they'll play music, but when your study session stops, they'll stop playing the sounds and so it's just a great way to section off your study time and there's also tons of different kinds of sounds. For example, there's rain, Or forests. And there's also different kinds of music. So I love this app because it's just a all-in-one timer and music player. So I definitely recommend you to get this app. It's called Tide. And so that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. And please leave me a comment telling me what is your favorite type of music to listen to while studying. Because I am definitely short on music and I really need more recommendations so be sure to leave me a comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!